Tempo man, tempo man. Y'all niggas frowning, I'm seeing no mountains. Face is glowing from drinking them fountains. Pulling them triggers from them scriptures. Death to you, monkey nook. Oh. Uh -huh. Shout out to Wall, Miss Trey Tell. Tour pushing teacher in the building. Got my beautiful rib to my right. Tell people, Shout out to Shout out to I'm about to do a quick tempo breakdown of the Holy of Holies. Shall we get it started, Wisdom? Yes. Let's go. All right, let's get going. Thank you for that, babe. Let's see here. All right, here we go. About to do a quick breakdown of the Holy of Holies. All right, quick breakdown of the Holy of Holies. All right, let's get it started. It's going to be real easy. Real easy. All right, we're gonna be teaching, we're gonna teach you how to talk to the angels. All right, don't y'all want to talk to the angels? I talk to the angels. Yeah, how I got them at my disposal. You know what I'm saying? You there? You know it's 3D right here. We gonna get you there. But first, you gotta start from the bottom, work your way up. You gotta put your sweat in. You know what I'm saying? You gotta put that work. Shout out to SOJ, doing that Zara. Tour keepers and pushes, Josh. You better put in this work. I'm gonna give it to you raw. Let's go. I'm gonna start off with Exodus. Give me a little bit of Exodus 25. Exodus 25, verse 10 to 16. Right? Let's get a better picture of this up though. All right, let's see. Exodus 25, verse 10 to 16. Says, they shall make an ark of acacia wood, right? The ark of acacia wood, 25, verse 10. Two and a half cubits long, right? A cubit and a half wide and a cubit and a half high, overlay it with pure gold, overlay it inside out and make it and make upon it a gold molding round about. Cast four gold rings for it to be attached to its four feet, two rings on one of its side walls and two on the other. Make poles of acacia wood and overlay them with gold. Then insert the poles and the rings on the side walls of the ark for carrying the ark. The poles shall remain in the rings of the ark. It shall not be removed from it and deposit the ark in the tablets of the pact, which I will give you, right? So the mind is the ark, right? That's what this sim symbolizes, right? How it can't deal with you if your mind ain't right, okay? That's how this works. You know what I'm saying? You can't be on a, um, a basketball fan. No, it don't work. It ain't that easy, partner. You can't be watching NFL. You gotta meditate. You gotta level. You gotta levitate. You gotta elevate your mind to be that. To be that. That that, that angel. I'm jumping. I'm jumping ahead a little bit. You gotta be that angel. We'll get to that too, right? Let's go to Jeremiah 31 verse 33. Get see what these tablets. What's these tablets we talking about up in here? You should know that. You know the the commandments is the tablets, but it goes a little deeper than that. They gotta be embedded in you. You got to meditate and dwell on this daily. You got to strive. You got to want it. You can't do it in a couple of months and then jump out and you'll drown. It takes dedication like an Olympian swimmer. You swim in oceans, right? You got to get in shape. Y'all don't want no weak kings, right? Jeremiah 31, verse 33. You know these tablets. It's inside the ark, your mind, where you meet your Yahweh. 31 verse 33, it says, But such is the covenant I will make with the house of Israel after these days, declares Yahweh. I will put my teaching into their inmost being, 
and inscribe it upon their hearts. And I will be their God, and they shall be my people. Right? So how does he inscribe the teaching in your heart? It's from you constantly studying and striving the laws and the commandments and statutes, right? Those waters, the the, the thorn, wow. You gotta drink them waters, right? To feed your to feed your mind, right? To be that perfect being to Yahweh, that perfect sacrifice. That's that's other that's other topics. We're just gonna focus on the holy of holies right now, right? I ain't gonna go too deep for you. It takes it takes practice. It takes much practice. Don't do it. Don't try this at home. You know what I'm saying? But I'm gonna get you there. Let's go to Exodus 25. Exodus 25, right? We're gonna get on the chair. We're gonna get on the top. We're gonna get on the top of the, the covenant, right? Cherubim, the angels. The angels on top of your mind, right? The cherubim. Okay. Let's go to Exodus 25. Exodus 25, verse 17 to 22. 17 to 22. Let's get this. Let's get these waters up in you. 17. You shall make a cover of pure gold, two and a half cubits long and a cubit and a half wide. Make two cherubim of gold. Make them of hammered work at the two ends of the cover. Make one cherub at one end and the other cherub at the other end. Of one piece with the cover shall you make the cherubim at its two ends. The cherubim shall have the wings spread out above. Shooting the cover with their wings. They shall confront each other, the faces of the cherubim being, being toward, turned toward the cover. Right? Place the cover on top of the ark after depositing it inside the ark pack that I will give you. There, this is Yahweh, there I will meet with you and I will impart to you from above the cover between the two cherubim that are on top of the ark of the pack. All that I will command concerning the Israelite people. I gotta, I gotta show you that in writing. Let's go to, I'm gonna see a that's a deep verse. Now, Exodus, I want you to get all this water. I want you to, I want you to, you know what I'm saying, drink so much to well. You, about, you, about, you know, you get on the water, that, that water come out of your nose, that burning. I want that. I want you to get it that way. Exodus 25, verse 22. Right? There above the cover between the two cherubim, over the ark of the covenant, which is your mind, I will meet with you and give you all commands for the Israelites. So any situation, he commanded you what to do mentally. I'm at the level now I can talk to Yahweh without talking. You know what I'm saying? He downloading, downloading what I need to do, what I need to do to get to him. You know what I'm saying? It's easy. It's easy once you make it to that level, but you, it's not easy to get there. If you feel me, you feel me. Let's go to let's go to Psalms 103. Let's get back to this cherubim. Let's go to Psalms 103, verse 20, right? Psalms 103, verse 20. Let's see what, what, we, what the world's not telling you, what you was born to do. I'm talking to Jacob right now. The issue, what, what was you born to do? Was you born to have a perfect jump shot, right? Was you born to be a scientist? Was you born to be a, a, a military, you know what I'm saying, officer? Let's, let's, let's get the secrets of things. We got to get, it's, it's, we gotta get to the real here. Psalms 103, verse 20. Bless Yahweh, all his angels. Mighty creatures who do his bidding, ever obedient to his bidding, right? Ezekiel 103, verse 20. So, bless Yahweh. Let me get that scripture up. Psalms 103, verse 20. Bless Yahweh. All his hosts, right? His servants who do his will, his bidding, who obey his word. Let's talk about you. Sometimes let's talk about you, right? You you striving to be that angel and get close to your hour. Like, right? And once you get there, trust me, you got you, you glow. You glow, baby. It's an amazing feeling when you get to that level. Believe me. Take it from me. Right? You get to the point where people hate you so much to where you like, man, I need more of that. You know what I'm saying? Because you got the angels, you got the power of your hour at your disposal. At all times, all times, you can't stop smiling. You can't stop showing your whites. You are untouchable. Yahweh will Yahweh will make you make you a mountain. He told you, Ezekiel nine, verse one to seven. But once you get halfway there, don't turn around. You ain't. You're not all the way there. 
you get lured. Yahweh don't like treachery. Ezekiel 9, verse 1 to 7. Right? Let me get that up. Ezekiel 9, verse 1 to 7. I'm going to have this up and I'm going to read my Tanakh. Right? Then he called loudly in my hearing, saying, Approaching man in the charge of the city, each bearing his weapons of destruction. And six men entered by way of the upper gate that faces north, each with his club in his hand, and among them was another, clothed in linen with a writing case at his waist. They came forward and stopped at the bronze altar. I'm going to put that up. Let's get back to the bronze altar. Well, let's get to the cherubim. Get the cherubim. Cherubim. Get that up. Let's get that back up. Cherubim. All right. Now the presence of Yahweh had moved from the cherub on which it had rested to the platform of the house. He called to the man. See, he's working on that mind. He's talking to the mind. He called to the man clothed in linen, was writing the case at his waist. And Yahweh said to him, Pass through the city, through Jerusalem, Jerusalem, Yasharalo. And put a mark on the foreheads of the men who moan and groan because of all the abominations that are committed in it. To the others, he said in my hearing, follow him through the city and strike. Show no pity or compassion. Right. So first you put a mark of the foreheads, which is the mark of Yahweh. He meditated on his through, through your soul. He's in your mind. He knows where your heart dwells. He knows what's important to you. Right. Right. You always in that. You always meditate. You always elevate. Right, you always trying to be that perfect angel, that being, that hosts. Right. So he's so so you marked, you marked. Right, them angels around you, they protecting you. And when you get to that level, you gonna see them. I seen angels. Ha. Let's keep going. To the others, he said in my hearing, follow him through the city and strike. Show no pity or compassion. Kill off gray beard, youth and maiden, woman and children. But do not touch any person who bears the mark. Begin here at my sanctuary, at Yahweh's house. Start killing at my house first. The ones Israelites who ain't doing my work. You know what I'm saying? The ones playing basketball. The ones, you know what I'm saying? Selling drugs. The ones killing each other. The ones, you know what I'm saying? About that life, right? They about that life. <laughs> it's really should be about that. They about that death, right? They food, right? In verse 7. And he said to them, defile the house and fill the courts with the slain. Then go forth. So they went forth and began to kill everything in the city. Right? Everything. That's some angels doing their work, them death angels. Right? One more precept on the on the on the cherubim. We're gonna go to Psalms 82, verse 7. Psalms 82, verse 7. We're gonna get you there. We're gonna get you right. If your heart right, Yahweh is going to get you there too. He's going to get you there. That's why I should say Yahweh is going to get you there. But you got to be right. You got to be sincere in this. This is a spiritual game. 82 verse 7. Uh, verse 6 and 7. Yahweh says, I had taken you for divine beings, sons of the Most High. All of you, Jacob. All of you, Israel. All the men. I've taken all of you. But you shall die as men do. Fall like any prince. Let's get that up. Psalms, I want y'all to see it. Psalms 82. It's the it's the throw of wall. It's the it's the waters. You know what I'm saying? It's that this that it's the inspiration. You know what I'm saying? Six to seven. 82 verse six to seven. I have said, we got another, another translation here. This is Yahweh's wild mouth. I have said, ye are gods, and you are all children of the Most High. But you shall die like men and fall like one of the princes. But you got to put in that work to get to be that eternal being. You know what I'm saying? You got to go through the first resurrection, partner. If you ain't, if you don't know if you've resurrected or not, you you losing, you lame in the game. You got you got to get that first resurrection through, right? And then you get the second resurrection to eternity. You never gonna taste death. But man, if you don't get this, you're going to taste it with a giant wood spoon. All right? Now we're going to get to this veil. The veil, this is the last portion here. Well, two more portions. We're going to get to this veil. What's the veil of the holy holies? Holy holies, right? 
They get them linguistics. Right. Let's go to let's get a holy holies. Right. Let me get that. Oh, there we go. That's a beautiful one. Yeah. Wait a minute. What's behind? What's behind that veil? Right? Let's see if I get a better one in a minute. I saw a better one somewhere. Where is that? I saw a good picture here before. Let's see. Here we go. Oh, it's perfect. There's that veil, the Holy of Holies. See, that's the ark with the cherubim. The, cher the cherubim, right? The angels. Angelic. That's what you're trying to be. Let's go to uh, Ezekiel 26, verse 33. Let's get that veil. Do not try this at home. You know what I'm saying? Don't try this at home. Not yet. Not yet. You got to take this slowly, right? Exodus 26, verse 33. Hang the curtain under the clasp and carry the ark of the pack there behind the curtain so that the curtain shall serve you as a partition between the holy and the holy of holies, right? All right, most of you, most of you so foul, it tells you that the Zechariah 3 verse 9, only 85% will get wiped out. Most of y'all couldn't be within 10 feet outside the, the tabernacle without getting, without Yahweh wiping you out with plagues and diseases, taking out the broom and just sweeping out the tar. You know what I'm saying? You try to, you gotta, you gotta go through the purging process. You can't just step in there. You gotta purge, you gotta strive, you gotta sweat in the word. You know what I'm saying? When you walk, you, you talk this. You talk it. And you know and you know somebody from 10 miles away if they in it. It's called a throw a wah. It's like flames come out your mouth. You, you can call on your highway anytime. Anytime you will glow. And you'll wipe out. You can wipe out a, a, a whole population. This is this is real. This is this is TK more fire. All right. I live for this. I bleed, I die for this. But I can't die, though. Uh, Yahweh told me that. You don't die. You my, you my worker. You know what I'm saying? This is your job. Now, it's a, it's a penalty. You will die if you don't listen. But the level I'm at, Yahweh say, I got you. You mine forever. You a king. You a priest under me. An angel. All right, we're going to get to the Levitical priest. I'm going to do a real quick. Hold on. This temple, this temple nomics. Temple man 101, nomics. We try to get, we rich up in here. Y'all, y'all lacking. Y'all got that, that dirty money. That money gets dust. And it got holes in your pockets. You got bills and debts. I'm going to it to your highway. He, he feeds, he just gives it. It's true. It's trillionaires up in, in there in them holies. It's trillionaires, right? Wisdom, wisdom, and knowledge is worth more than fine gold. We trying to be that diamond. Let's go. Go to Exodus thirty nine verse thirty four. I'm gonna go Levitical priest. But we just gonna cover this little piece. Of, this little piece of the. This little piece of the priest. This little piece. What is that? Little piece of the priest. One minute. This is this is this is fun. Hold on. Let's see. Hold on. All right, we're gonna get Exodus uh um Exodus 39 verse 34. Now I want you to look at the head covering. Let me see if I can get it right here. We'll use this one. That's good. Look at the head covering he got on, right? He covering his head. Just a little piece. Just a little piece. I'll do a little another breakdown of Levitical priesthood. Right? I can't, you know, just say you gotta be in this one. You gotta be in this. Yeah, how I had it set up to where you gotta be serious about this. This takes labor. You gotta be up. You gotta, you gotta lose sleep. You gotta be. And then once you lose that sleep, at first you're gonna be tired. Once you start getting that food, that Yahweh starts lifting you. He starts giving you this energy. You can't speak. You want this so much. He, Yahweh is 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 wonderful to be praised. Let's go to uh, Exodus thirty nine verse thirty four. 
The coverings of 10 Ram skins. Oh, no, first we're going to get to the, okay, that's wrong. We're going to get the covering of the Ark first. Covering of the Ark. I jump the head, jump the gun. Bear with me. The Holy Spirit working up in here. The Holy Spirit. I get a little excited sometimes. I just want to. I just want to start swinging the store and start beheading. That's just how I am. That's how I do. Once you get that spirit, that wow, you know what I'm saying? Let's go to uh, the Holy Spirit. Um, Demonomics. All right, let's see. I can't get a picture of this thing. Hold on. Was it 20 is 30, Exodus 39, verse 34. Okay, we're just gonna get the covering. I'm just gonna put bell covering. Here we go, here we go, finally. Bell covering number 10. All right, let's go. The covering of tan ram skins, the covering of dolphin skins, and the curtain for the screen. All right, now we're gonna get the the now, the picture you already saw is a covering for this. That's the screen, right? So this is the the tan, the goat skins, the dolphin skins, right? I mean, I, right? And then you get to the you get to the, the veil, the veil, right? Which is the uh, the curtain, the curtain for the screen. Okay. All right. So now we're gonna get to that. Let's go to Leviticus uh, ten verse five to eleven, right? Let's get that picture up. Let's get the, uh, the covering. The Levitical, the Levitical priesthood, right? Levitical priesthood. Here we go. I don't know. This might be some. We'll just look at, let's look at his head. Don't even worry about all that other mess. Let's get Levitical priesthood, right? All right, hold on. Leviticus 10, verse 5 to 11. Leviticus 10, verse 5 to 11, then we'll wrap this up, right? Leviticus 10, verse 5. You know what I'm saying? I got some, I got some, I got some oceans to drink. You know what I'm saying? In my spare time, that's what I do. What about you? Leviticus 10, verse 5 to 11, they came forward and carried them out of the camp by the tunics, as Moses had ordered. And Moses said to Aaron and to his sons, Eleazar and Ithmar, do not bear your heads and do not wring your clothes, lest you die in anger and strike the whole community. But your kinsmen and all the house shall be well the burning that Yahweh has wrought. And so do not go outside the entrance of the tent of meeting, lest you die, for Yahweh's anointing is oil upon you. And they did as Moses had bidden. Right? And Yahweh spoke to Aaron, saying, Drink no one. I'm going to stop right there. Let me get this up. Leviticus 10. Verse five to eleven. Let's get the let's get to heaven. I've seen it. I've seen it. I see it daily. Yahweh shows me heaven. I've been there. How about you? Leviticus ten. Verse five to eleven. So they came and carried them filling their tunics outside the camp, as they or as Moses ordered. Right. I'm going to go ahead and skip on down and go to seven, right? Do not leave the entrance to the tent of meeting or you will die because Yahweh's anointing oil is on you. So you can't leave the temple man. You can't leave that tent. His oil is on you, right? He got some, he got, he, he about to kill some people. You got to, you got to stay in your sanctuary. He tells you right there. And Yahweh said to Aaron, you and your sons are not to drink wine or other forbidden drink whenever you go into the tent of meeting. So you can't go in there drunk, partner. You can't go in there drunk. You gonna get what you can go in there. Oh no. Oh yeah, we, we got some we got some breakdowns coming. I got some break. I'm saying we. I'm speak, You know, I'm always speaking. That's your how I was speaking through me. You know, what I'm saying I always give him. I always give him the praises for giving me this, so I can give it to you for free. No charge. That's my job. That's all. This is the lasting ordinance for the generations to come, so that you can distinguish between the holy and the common, between the unclean and the clean. And so you can teach the Israelites all of the decrees of Yahweh has given them through Moses. See, that's that's your sanctuary. That's your safety. You know what I'm saying? Those commandments. 
know what I'm saying? That pure, being that pure angel, Yahweh was going to take care of you now once you're in there. Oh, he's going to take care of you because he knew, he know, he know them tests you put you, he know how hard it was. You know what I'm saying? Yahweh don't just get as anybody. He tests. You know what I'm saying? You might, you might, you got to get up. You got to take them bruises. You got to take them to be that perfect man. You got to, that's that purge, that cut, right? Like a razor. All right, so that's Leviticus 10, verse 5 to 11, right? Right, so there you go. Simple, but not simple, <laughs> right? So with that, I yield, right? Right, I got some angels to talk to. I got some, I got some, some, some traveling to do. Right, I can, I can go anywhere, anywhere. Praise Yahweh. Yahweh is greatly to be praised. Yahweh a God. Right, with that, I'm gonna sign out. Yahweh, he's my power. Yeah, yeah, y'all some coward. I'll make it fire. I'll never tire. Y'all yeah, the beginning. His servant winning. Yahweh a god. He gave a fire my soul out. <laughs>